Hello, my name is Casey Watt and I'm here today to talk to you about two major problems that many relationships in America battle with on a daily basis. One is drug abuse and the other is domestic violence. Although these two are separate issues, there is a strong correlation between substance abuse and domestic violence in intimate partner relationships. Although domestic violence and substance abuse are not the cause and effect of each other, there is a strong correlation, oftentimes not making the victim not only fear her partner, but the drug itself. The higher the frequency of drug abuse and drinking by the abuser, the more the victim begins to associate the drinking and the drug use with the violence. Drugs lower inhibitions. The abuser loses his ability to control his actions and is more likely to severely abuse his partner. Drug addiction does not cause more severe violent acts towards the partner, making the violence longer lasting during the relationship and increasing the chance for the victim to be killed. The abuser's personality and the lifestyle and the situation at home also have an effect of the level of aggression felt by the abuser. When the alcohol and drugs are applied to his lifestyle, he will begin to um, lose his ability to control his actions because he cannot tell the difference between the objects and people that stress him out against the objects and people who support him. The abuser feels that if he uses the drug, he will be affected in a violent way. As a result, he will become more violent after partaking in the drug um, than before use or without the drug. Society places expectations for the behaviors of males who are under the influence of drugs and alcohol. The media portrays aggression as socially acceptable behavior and when, the when under the influence. Behaviors such as physical abuse, verbal attacks, and sexual abuse are learned from society because they are not culturally universal. Addiction is a mental disorder. By being both mentally and physically addicted to the drug, the user is out of control and is powerless. The user will try to gain more power by using aggression towards others. Men know that they can more easily overpower a female than another male. Drug consumption can occur at any location, but most violence occurs in the home setting, where the male feels that he has the most power over the female. Also, the public cannot view violence from this area. Illegal substances cause stress on the body of the user and cause higher levels of aggression to be felt. Reasons for this include illegal substances such as cocaine affect the brain differently than alcohol alone, causing aggression to rise. The user may also feel that he has to increase the amount of the drug taken because aggression has occurred, causing more additional stress on the body and more severe violent attacks towards the female. After an individual goes without a drug for a certain amount of time, he will enter withdrawal phase. According to Flanzer, withdrawal symptoms include irritability, weak temper, and anger. So not only does the abuser have increased hostility and aggression while under the influence, but also when he goes without the drug. This is why medical professionals should be very cautious and handle drug abuse and domestic violence problems separately when the partners are seeking treatment. Oftentimes, women will report that their partners also have higher levels of aggression and attack them more severely when seeking treatment for drug rehabilitation. In conclusion, domestic violence and drug abuse are two separate problems and millions of couples must deal with this on a daily basis. Although these two issues are not the cause and effect of each other, there tends to be a very strong correlation. Domestic violence alone places females in extreme danger and occurs in multiple forms such as verbal, physical, and sexual abuse. When substance abuse is added to the situation, the abuse tends to be more traumatic, longer lasting, 